Every two years at the Olympic Games, the world's greatest athletes demonstrate what it means to push the boundaries of human potential. In weightlifting, for example, new records are being set every year. Much is said about the athletes and how they challenge their limits to achieve new heights. But what's going on with the equipment? Has it always been the same? What kind of stress occurs when the bars drop? How could pushing the boundaries of design enable athletes to achieve more? At Go Engineer, these are the kinds of questions that keep us up at night. Weightlifting was one of the events in the first Olympic Games held in Athens in 1896. The bar and weights used then, and for decades following, were made of iron. Due to the potential of harming the athlete and the equipment, the rules stated that the athlete was required to gently lower the weights to the ground after the lift. This obviously wasn't possible when an athlete was pushing for a new record, would miss the lift, and needed to drop the bar. We did a virtual stress study in SOLIDWORKS simulation, and as you can see, there is no energy loss with the iron plates. In the late 60s, rubber weights were introduced. By doing another stress study, we can see that rubber plates absorb much more kinetic energy. This allowed lifters to drop the weights, thus empowering them to set new records. We marvel at how far human performance has come without giving much thought to the design advances that have allowed human performance to excel. At Go Engineer, we thrive on innovation and progression. Our customers are introducing innovative products that ultimately change the world. What limits will you challenge?